So what's with all the brushing? Well, I'm going to find out by hanging up my toothbrush for five days. OK, this is it. This is truly grim. This is the last time I'm going to brush my teeth for the next five days, so don't come anywhere near me. It's day three. This, <laughs> I, this is the third day I haven't brushed my teeth, and people are avoiding me. People are crossing the streets as I walk past. The smell is becoming uh, unbearable, almost. Are your teeth clean? Yeah. Let's see. What do you think about Daddy's teeth? Yucky. <laughs> Oh dear, it's now day four. Day four of not being able to brush my teeth. And uh, I think they're looking pretty horrible. They certainly feel fuzzy and grim. Have a smell. <sighs> oh, it's stinky. This is horrible. Everywhere I go, I kind of feel people are looking at me funny. More funny than normal. OK, no sugary snacks and my teeth haven't turned black, but they are a bit furry. To find out what's going on, I've come to Liverpool University's dental school. They're pioneering a new camera that reveals the damage done by five days of neglect. Not rot, but plaque. It's quite difficult to see the plaque because it's, it's white right. on white teeth. Yeah. Um, if you look very closely, you can see some I'm a bit some worried about that bit. What's here? that a bit of last night's curry? I think, I think that's a bit of food debris, <laughs> yes. Yeah. But if we have a look at uh, a different image we've taken with our special camera, which is using fluorescence now, right. then we can see some really quite heavy areas of, of plaque so this yeah. orange stuff, that's plaque? That's plaque. I mean, that's quite a lot, isn't so it? So that, there's really quite a lot there. Plaque is down to those same bacteria that produce acid. Faced with a filthy mouth, they go wild, billions of them forming a sticky, gooey mess all over your teeth. It won't harm your teeth like acid does, but if you don't brush away the plaque, it eventually hardens, and this time, it's your gums that pay the price. So this is all stuff that's taken up residence in my mouth over the last five days. We've got it hooked up live to the microscope. And I'm looking and this stuff, I can actually see things wriggling about. What's that there? These long, slender, cigar-shaped rods are probably fusobacterium. We've got some, probably some streptococci here, the, the round-shaped bacteria. But we've also got some of these motile bacteria likely to be spirochetes. Spirochetes. <laughs> It's a wonder I'm still alive, Sue. I mean, <laughs> I mean there's like, they're like kind of little tadpoles swimming around. And they are. I thought I could feel something in my mouth. <laughs> I thought there was something odd going on. So really, this is the cause of all of our problems, isn't it? It is.